ಓಂ ನಮೋ ಭಗವತೆ ವಾಸುದೇವಾಯ ರೀಡಿಂಗ್ ಫ್ರಮ್ ಶ್ರೀಮದ್ ಭಾಗವತಂ ಕ್ಯಾಂಟೋ ತ್ರೀ ಚಾಪ್ಟರ್ ಟ್ವೆಂಟಿ ಫೈವ್ ಟೆಕ್ಸ್ಟ್ ಫಾರ್ಟಿ ಒನ್ ನಾನ್ಯತ್ರ ಮದ್ ಭಗವತ ಪ್ರಧಾನ ಪುರುಷೇಶ್ವರ ಆತ್ಮನ ಸರ್ವೂತ ಭಯ ತೀವ್ರ ನಿವರ್ತತೆ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ಪರ್ಪಟ್ ಬೈಸ್ ಡಿವೈನ್ ಗ್ರೇಸ್ ಎ ಸಿ ಭಕ್ತಿ ವೇದಾಂತ ಸ್ವಾಮಿ ಶ್ರೀಲ ಪ್ರಭುಪಾದ್ ಟ್ರಾನ್ಸ್ಲೇಷನ್ ದ ಟೆರಿಬಲ್ ಫಿಯರ್ ಆಫ್ ಬರ್ತ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಡೆತ್ ಕ್ಯಾನ್ ನೆವರ್ ಬಿ ಫೋರ್ಸ್ ಐ ಕನ್ ಬೈ ಎನಿ ಒನ್ ಹೂ ರೆಸಾರ್ಟ್ಸ್ ಟು ಎನಿ ಶೆಲ್ಟರ್ ಅದರ್ ದ್ಯಾನ್ ಮೈ ಸೆಲ್ಫ್ ಫಾರ್ ಐ ಆಮ್ ದ ಆಲ್ ಮೈ ಟಿ ಲಾಡ್ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಪರ್ಸ್ನಾಲಿಟಿ ಆಫ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಹೆಡ್ ದ ಒರಿಜಿನಲ್ ಸೋರ್ಸ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಕ್ರಿಯೇಷನ್ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ಸೋ ದ ಸುಪ್ರೀಮ್ ಸೋಲ್ ಆಫ್ ಆಲ್ ಸೋಲ್ಸ್ ಪರ್ಪಟ್ it is indicated here in that the cycle of birth and death cannot be stopped unless one is a pure devotee of the supreme lord it is said harim vina namrutim taranti one cannot surpass the cycle of birth and death unless one is favored by the supreme personality of godhead the same concept is confirmed here with one may take to the system of understanding the absolute truth by one's own imperfect sensory speculation or one may try to realize the self by the mystic yoga process but whatever one may do unless he comes to the point of surrendering to the supreme personality of godhead no process can give him liberation one may ask if this means that those who are undergoing so much penance and austerity by strictly following the rules and regulations are endeavoring in vain the answer is given by shrimad bhagavatam ಏನ್ಯೇ ರವೀಂದಾಕ್ಷ ವಿಮುಕ್ತ ಮಾನಿನ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ಬ್ರಹ್ಮ ಆ್ಯಂಡ್ ಅದರ್ ಡೆಮಿ ಗಾಡ್ ಸ್ಪ್ರೇಡ್ ಟು ದ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ವೆನ್ ದಿ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ವಾಸ್ ಇನ್ ದ ಊಂ ಆಫ್ ದೇವಕಿ ಮೈ ಡಿಯರ್ ಲೋಟಸ್ ಐಡ್ ಲಾರ್ಡ್ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಪರ್ಸನ್ಸ್ ಹೂ ಆರ್ ಪಫ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವಿತ್ ದ ಥಾಟ್ ದಟ್ ದೇ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಲಿಬರೇಟೆಡ್ ಆರ್ ಒನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಆರ್ ಐ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಬಿಕಮ್ ಗಾಡ್ ಬಟ್ ಇನ್ ಸ್ಪೈಟ್ ಆಫ್ ಥಿಂಕಿಂಗ್ ಇನ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಪಫ್ಡ್ ಅಪ್ ವೇ ದೇರ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆನ್ಸ್ ಈಸ್ ನಾಟ್ ಲಾಡಬಲ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ಲೆಸ್ ಇಂಟೆಲಿಜೆಂಟ್ it is stated that their intelligence whether high or low is not even purified in purified intelligence a living entity cannot think otherwise than to surrender bhagavad gita therefore confirms that purified intelligence arises in the person of a very wise man bahunam janmanam ante gnanavan mam prapadyate after many many births one who is actually advanced in intelligence surrenders unto the supreme lord without the surrendering process one cannot achieve liberation the bhagavatam says those who are simply puffed up thinking themselves liberated by some non devotional process are not polished or clear in intelligence for they have not yet surrendered unto you in spite of executing all kinds of austerities and penances or even arriving at the brink of spiritual realization in brahman realization they think that they are in the effulgence of brahman but actually because they have no transcendental activities they fall down to material activities one should not be satisfied simply with knowing that one is brahman he must engage himself in the service of the supreme brahman that is bhakti the engagement of brahman should be the service of para brahman it is said that unless one becomes brahman one cannot serve brahman the supreme brahman is the supreme personality of godhead and the living entity is also brahman without realization that he is brahman spirit soul an eternal servitor of the lord if one simply thinks that he is brahman his realization is only theoretical he has to realize and at the same time engage himself in the devotional service of the lord then he can exist in the brahman status otherwise he falls down the bhagavatam says that because non devotees neglect the transcendental loving service of the lotus feet of the personality of godhead their intelligence is not sufficient and therefore these persons fall down the living entity must have some activity if he does not engage in the activity of transcendental service he must fall down to the material activity as soon as one falls down to material activity there is no rescue 
from the cycle of birth and death. It is stated here by Lord Kapila, without my mercy, Nanyatra Mad Bhagavataha. The Lord is stated here to be Bhagavan, the Supreme Personality of Godhead, indicating that He is full of all opulences and is therefore perfectly competent to deliver one from the cycle of birth and death. He is also called Prathana because He is the Supreme. He is equal to everyone, but to one who surrenders to Him, He is especially favorable. It is also confirmed in Bhagavad Gita that the Lord is equal to everyone. No one is His enemy and no one is His friend. But to one who surrenders unto Him, He is especially inclined. By the grace of the Lord, simply by surrendering unto Him, one can get out of the cycle of birth and death. Otherwise, one may go on in many, many lives and may many times attempt other processes of for liberation. Thus ends the Bhaktivedanta purpose. The following is a class on Srimad Bhagavatam. Third Canto, 25th Chapter, Text Number 41 Given by His Divine Grace, A.C. Bhaktivedanta Swami, Srila Prabhupada. Recorded on 9th of December, 1974 in Bombay, India. Namaha Daskita Nam Muha Prabhupadanti Narada Rabbi Krishna is so kind and his devotees are so kind that they Krishna comes Jada Jada Hi Dhanma Sagnani Bhavati Bharata Tadatmanam Sija He comes He is very unhappy by seeing our unhappiness in this material world because we are sons of Krishna Mami Vangsa Jeeva Bhuta Sarva Joni Shukavante or Sambhavanti Mutaya Tara Sang Mahajani Brahma Ahanga Bija Purat. He is a father. So as father is very unhappy seeing the unhappy condition of the son, although the son does not know, uh, but father is unhappy. So Krishna is unhappy, therefore he comes. He can master. Like why you are captivated by this false so-called happiness? You give up this sarva dharma and paritrajya mami kang saranam uh, I will give you relief. You come to me. You will live happily, eternally, blissful life without any, no, no, I mean say, scarcity or without any trouble. Uh, so, uh, the Krishna's business, he comes, he, he uh, he has no business to come here because his agent, Prakriti, is doing everything. But still, out of compassion, he comes uh, in his original form, Krishna, or in his incarnation as Kapila, and he says the same thing. My dear sons, my dear rascal sons, you are suffering so much uh, on account of this material contact. Please come to me, take shelter of me, and you'll be happy. Ah, this is going on. And Krishna's representative says the same thing. That you rascal, you take shelter of Krishna and be happy. This is Krishna consciousness. Ah, we are going from door to door of all the rascals. I tell it, declare it publicly. Anyone who is not Krishna conscious, he is rascal number one. I declare it. Come any intelligent man, I shall talk with him, I shall prove that he is rascal number one. If he has no Krishna consciousness. That's a fact. So, this Krishna consciousness movement is meant for the rascal number one. And we always canvassing, soliciting. Please take to this, not that we have invented some. As Krishna said to Arjun, that this philosophy, this Krishna consciousness philosophy, Imang vivasati yugang prattavana hamabhyam vivasan manave prahu manui I explain this philosophy of Krishna consciousness, uh, Many, many millions of years ago to the sun god, when he says 
इमान विवशति जुगम पृथ्वान अहम अम्बर विवशा दि नेम आर दि सन गॉड एट द प्रेजेंट मोमेंट हिज नेम इज विवशा पीपल डू नॉट नो वट इज द सन प्लैनेट बट वी नो दि प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ द सन प्लैनेट हिज नेम इज विवशा हाउ डू नो वी अंडरस्टैंड फ्रॉम कृष्ण दैट फ्रॉम आवर नॉलेज इज परफेक्ट Uh, you can say, "Have you gone to the sun planet?" No, there is no need of go- going there. Here is the authority. Krishna says to accept it. That's all. Our business is finished. Uh, Krishna is perfect. Whatever he says, it is perfect. Therefore, I am not perfect. That's a fact. But because I am speaking of the words coming from the perfect, that will be perfect. It is not speculation. It is very easy for us because we accept the words of the perfect. Therefore, whatever we say, it is perfect. You you get you may challenge me. Say, are you perfect? I am not perfect because I am not speaking my words. I am speaking the words of the perfect. Therefore, my uh, whatever I speak, it is perfect. So this uh, knowledge, uh, Krishna is kind. He comes there uh, occasionally. Uh, he comes once uh, in the day of Brahma, and the Brahma's day is explained in the Bhagavad Gita. Sahasra Juga Padjantam Arhasat Brahmano. Who? Uh, it means four. Forty-three uh, lakhs of years uh, add three zeros. Some crores of years after Krishna comes once in Brahma's days. Jada uh, jada uh, hi. That is there is the just like the sun rises early in the morning. Say after twelve years, uh, twelve hours. Uh, similarly. Krishna is coming here. There is calculation in the shastra. He comes once in a day of Brahma. Means some crores of years after he comes. Uh, uh, so things deteriorate. And not only he comes as Krishna. Krishna he comes at a certain period. Uh, and still the, his incarnations also come to educate. These foolish people who are thinking that we are living very happily to canvass them to say the same thing. Uh, similarly, Kapil Dev also he is uh, propounding the Sankha philosophy. This is Sankha philosophy. What Kapil Dev is saying, Sankha philosophy means unalloyed devotion to the Lord. That is Sankha philosophy. There is another Sankha philosophy. He also imitated the name of Kapila. Uh, but he is atheist sankha philosophy. But here uh, we should remember sankha philosophy originally propounded by Kapil Dev, the son of Devahuti. He, Kapil Dev, the son of Devahuti, explained to his mother. The mother wanted the uh, to know from the son. His father left home, and the mother was kept. Uh, by the at the care of his son, grown up son, that is Vedic system. That when the son is grown up, the mother should be left uh, uh, at the care of the grown up son, and the father should take leave. He should become bana prastha sannyas, no more connection with wife. This is Vedic system. So uh, Kapil Dev's father, Kardam Muni. He left home and he kept his wife under the care of Kapil Dev, and he is propounding this Sankha philosophy. And today's verse is na na anatra mad bhagavato. Without him, without taking shelter, ah, bhagavato, bhagavan, bhagavan means Hari Sadya Purna, Almighty Lord. Nobody can. Give you protection, uh, just like when one is condemned to death by the justice. Uh, 
So there is no other way to save him than by the mercy of the king or the president. He can save. Similarly, we are all condemned. We are suffering this material condition of life, constantly a change of body and suffering the threefold miseries. Uh, this is very fierce food, but we do not uh, understand. Uh, we are living in such condition that by the spell of Maya, we are thinking, we are very happy, but that is not actual fact. It is Tibrang Bhayang, but if you want to get relief, then you must have to surrender to the Supreme Personality of Godhead, as he says, and revive your old connection. Revive your. What is that old connection? That we are eternal servant of God. Don't foolishly, don't become rascal that you are one with God or equal to God, that you have become God. This is all rascal. Simply rascal. You are eternal servant of Krishna. Jivel Sarupa Nitya. That is the teachings of Sri Chaitanya Mahap. That is the beginning of teaching. Uh, Jivel Sarupa Nitya Krishna Das. Uh, that is the beginning of knowledge. When we can understand that we, we are eternal. We are sons of Krishna. Eternal servant of Krishna. Just like by nature is a son and servant, there is no difference. Son also gives service to the father, and the servant also gives service to the master. So there is affection either as master or servant or son and father, but the it is the duty of the servant or son to give service to the Supreme. Uh, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu has defined that a real sarup. Uh, Saru means original identification, not artificial. Artificial you can think, I have become God, I have become Bhagavan, I am this, I am that. You are all that scared now. The real position is the uh, eternal servitude. That is not this servitude. We sometimes sudden, oh, I have to become servant. Huh? No, you do not know. How much happy life is that servitude that we do not know? We compare with this because materially we are infected. We are thinking to become servant of God is like servant of No. There in the spiritual world, the servant of God and servant is the same. Therefore, uh, Guru, Guru is servant of Krishna. But he is accepted as Krishna. Sakshadharitena samastha shastra. This is the verdict of all shastra. Uh, guru never says that I am Krishna and God, I am Bhagavan. No. He never says. He is not Guru then. Uh, he say, I am the most uh, humble servant of the servant of the servant of God, not direct servant. Servant, 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 servant. Hundred times down. Gopi Bhattu Padakamalayo Dasu 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 This is Chaitanya Mahaprabhu's word. Gopi Bhattu Padakamalayo Dasu 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 The more you become servant, servant, you are perfect. Uh, don't try to become direct servant. Uh, that is not possible. Uh, you cannot become direct servant. You first of all become servant of the servant. Uh, the Guru is the servant of Krishna, and you become his servant, then you, you are born of his servant. Uh, that is our real position. Uh, so, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu offers his prayer. Oi nanda tamaja potitam king karangam. King karang. King karang means servant. Uh, he is offering prayer, my dear Lord, the son of uh, Nanda Maharaj. Krishna, Krishna accepted. The son of uh, mother Jasoda and Nanda Maharaj. So he is very much pleased if anyone addresses Krishna as the son of Vasudev or Basudev. Basudev means the son of Vasudev. And if someone addresses him 
Jasudanandan, Jasudanandana, uh, Brajajana Ranjan. Uh, he is very happy. Uh, because when you uh, address Krishna in relationship with pure devotee, he is very, he is very um, happy. Uh, therefore, he address Jasodanandana, Nandanandana, uh, Vasudeva Nandana, Radhika Ramana, uh, like that. Uh, so, therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu addresses Krishna, Ai Nanda Tanuja, O the son of Nanda Maharaj, Ai Nanda Tanuja, Patitam Kinkaram Maam Bhishame Bhavam Mudho. Now, I am your eternal servant, somewhere other. I have fallen down in this ocean of birth and death. Uh, Bhavambudho, Bhava. Bhava means you become and again vanish. That is Bhava. And that is Ambudhi. Ambudhi means a sea. You do not know how long you are taking this business, accepting one body and accept again dying, again accepting, and not only here, throughout the whole universe. Ah, many planets, many species of life, this is going on. Therefore, Chaitanya Mahaprabhu says, Ei rupe brahmana bhramite kono bhagavan ji, Guru Krishna kripaya paya bhakti lata bij. In this way, we are wondering, one life to another, one planet to another in this way. Millions, millions of years. Ah, you don't care for it, because you are not afraid. We are so proud and, uh, I mean, say, brave. Uh, that tibrang bhayam, we don't care for it. Tibrang bhayam. There is tibra. Just after a few years, I will enter again. The tibrang bhayam. But we are careless. This is foolishness. This is a fool's where angels dare not, fools racing. Uh, that means we are so, therefore, Krishna says, Mura. Namang duskitana murha prapaddante naradhama. Those who are not Krishna conscious, not surrendering to Krishna, their categories have been explained that sinful, duskiti. Duskitana means duskaj. Uh, any kriti, uh, kriti means very meritorious. But duskriti. Merit is being misused for some. Nonsense activity. Therefore, duskriti. There are two kinds of activities, sukriti and duskriti. Sukriti means for some good purpose, and duskriti for some bad purpose. That is called. So, we are all engaged. Uh, all is engaged to uh, engage our brain to uh, manufacture something will be very facilitous for uh, committing sinful activity. Mm, that is science, advancement of science. Uh, so many things, just like contraceptive. Uh, now, advertised by the scientists. Now, here is a very nice contraceptive, use it. Uh, that means people will take up the scientific advancement and entangle him in sinful activity. Uh, Meritorious, but it is used for sinful activity. That is called duskri. So this class of men, those who have got merit, but it is not being used for useful purposes, for some sinful activities, they are called duskri. This class of men, atheist class of men, they never surrender to Krishna. Namang duskri to namurha, prapadanti namurha, and they do not understand that he has to face so much trouble in birth and death and old age, and he has no knowledge how to stop it. Therefore, they are murha, rascal. Namang duskitana murha prapadanti naradha. And lowest of the human mind, human brain can understand that I am suffering. But because he is not understanding, therefore he is the lowest of the human kind, naradhama. These things are described in the Bhagavad Gita. No, they have passed the MA degree. The knowledge has no value. 
because it is Maya. He is thinking, he is implying for temporary happiness. Uh, Maya, Maya happiness. Maya sukhaya bharamud bhato bimura. He has learned engineering and planning, very high skyscraper. Uh, but he does not know how long he will live that skyscraper building. Say 25 years, 50 years, that's all. Uh, Maya sukhaya. Temporary happiness. He is engaging his brain in so stupendous, horrible work, Ugra Maya Sukhayo Bharamud Bhato Bhimura. Real business he has neglected. How to get out of these clutches of birth and death? And he engages his brain for manufacturing skyscraper building. And he is thinking now advancement of knowledge, advancement of uh, education. This is going on. Therefore, if we want to save ourselves from the fearful condition of this material life, then we must take shelter of the Supreme Personality of Godhead. Uh, that is the verdict of the all Shastras, and Krishna comes for this purpose, and Krishna's devotees work day and night for this purpose, and that is called Krishna Consciousness Movement. Thank you very much.